Oh, I'm not wearing the same gray shirt, I swear. It's a different gray shirt. It says, I survived the German Autobahn, which I did. I, um, <coughs> I crossed off my bucket list topping a car out on the German Autobahn. Some people don't know what topping a car out means. That's like max speed on the car. It was a BMW, so anyways, I always feel like I need to explain the shirt because everyone's like, but did you really? Um, <laughs> So I finally got my medicine. I had like a bunch of drama this morning. First, I went to edit my plan with me video and it wasn't there. And all I can think is it didn't actually record. So I did my best to show you guys what I did this month. I'm so sorry about that. And then I started getting really sick because the, the medicine they had me on, I'm out of. Um, because I used it up and I was like, it didn't do anything and they changed it. Well, my nurse from my specialist office was supposed to call them last night and give them a prescription. I called the pharmacy. They're like, we never got it. We never got it. So I called the nurse today and she's like, that's bullshit. I called in yesterday. So then I called the pharmacy and they're like, no, we have nothing for you. Wait, I swear I saw your name somewhere. Then she put me on hold and then she came back. She's like, was it Dr. So-and-so? I was like, yeah. She's like, oh, hold on. And then she left again and she came back. She's like, I don't know where that prescription went. I swear I saw it though. I'm going to call your doctor. So I could have had my damn medicine last night, but I think they lost the prescription, which is just, mm. like, I used to love my pharmacy and now they're changing people. And I'm, I'm thinking they're just getting used to it. So I give it like another month. And if things keep happening, like they gave me the wrong medicine probably like three months ago. It, no, it was, this, it was the correct medicine, the correct dose. It's just somebody with my exact last name and the first name was Helen. She's literally on the same medicine, the same dose. They switched our medicines on accident. Like, um, it wasn't my name on it. So, ugh, that was like a bunch of drama. But I finally got it and it's $5. The medication was $5. I was like, praise God because all my medicines at this point have been like, 200 and the morning sickness medicine was like $50. I'm just like, thank you God for something cheap for once. So I'm about to take it. They said it causes like sleepiness, but usually stuff doesn't make me sleepy, but we're about to find out. Um, I'm gonna eat a snack with it. They told me to eat a snack with it. Uh, so yeah, here it goes, we'll see. I'll check in and let you guys know how it's going. Hopefully, you know, good things happen and I can get some more stuff done today besides what I got done this morning. They've been such jerks today. He's, he keeps eating, trying to eat acorns. He's like hunting. <laughs> I love the way they walk though. Those little booties. Yeah, I've seen your booty. I've seen it. So, um, I took the Finnegan that they called in earlier and it didn't make me sleepy, but oh my gosh, the dogs would not stop barking at nothing the whole time I was sleepy. So I didn't really fall asleep. So I can't really judge how I feel about it because I just feel like hung over right now because it's like, as soon as I started falling asleep, they start barking and growling at everything. So, uh, but we're finally going to do our pumpkins so we can put them outside on the porch. Our pumpkins are so big, oh my gosh. But Justin's gonna get just like a Sharpie, I think. And we're gonna write the names and do the, like tie them to the stem, it's gonna be really cute. I'm excited. I'll show you our little pumpkins that are done. I think it turned out really cute. There they are, Mom, Dad, Amber, Ralph, and Tater Tot. Those are little pumpkins this year. We can leave them out to November since they're not Halloween-y. So I just got all this stuff at Hobby Lobby to do it. That's all you need. Here, <laughs> my, my pumpkin has pimples and yours has a crater in its face. <laughs> Amber Ralph's and Tater Tots are like perfect though. <laughs> So my skin was itching one night 
I guess in my sleep, I just kept go reaching down and scratching it and scratching it with my foot. And it like ripped up my skin and made this giant gross scab on my leg. Like this deep, like scratched all my skin away like a meth head picking at its face. <laughs> <laughs> and it made this big hard scab and the other day I bumped the scab and part of it came off and it started bleeding and then I put Justin got me a band-aid we put it over and then <laughs> I took the band-aid off yesterday and it re-scabbed but then it still had scab sticking out this is so gross so I just bumped it again and the whole scab came off it was it's like blood all down my leg it's very dramatic for such a I mean, it's a big, it was a big scab, but not that big. It's a lot of blood. I guess it's because you have like more blood pumping through your body when you're pregnant. But it's very, it was very dramatic. Ah, so, I don't know if the fenugreek, like I know the fenugreek stopped my nausea for sure. But now I have indigestion. Do you have to trade like one for the other? I don't know enough about this stuff. Like if you get rid of the nausea, does that mean you're just stuck with indigestion then? And then I thought I was having a heart attack because I started having chest pain. I don't know what indigestion's like because I've never really had it. And I was like, oh my God, get my blood pressure cuff. I think I'm having a heart attack. And my blood pressure is fine. But I guess it's indigestion. So the fenugreek made me really sleepy. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna like set my alarm for two hours before I get up, wake up and take it, and then go back to sleep. And hopefully then I'll bypass the drowsiness. Um, that's my plan. I don't know if it'll work. We'll find out tomorrow though, won't we? Um, Justin's just gonna keep throwing balls for the dogs and making a lot of noise apparently while I'm trying to vlog because he must hate me for some reason. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But I don't know why he's doing, he does this sometimes. It's like I'm vlogging and he's like, oh, here's a ball, chase it. Like knowing they're gonna run and bark and stuff, but yeah, I do it on purpose. On purpose. Yeah, totally just to mess with the vlog. Totally on purpose. The dogs keep trying to lick my wound. That's freaking me out. I don't want them to lick my blood. Um, anyway, so, yeah, I'm going to go to bed. I feel like today's vlog was probably short. And... First waving her butt in Ralph's face, which is what she does when she wants him to play. She like waves her butt around his face. It's so ridiculous. And she goes, arr, arr, arr. It's so ridiculous. Oh, anyway. Okay. No, I'm really going to bed. Sorry if the vlog was short. Hopefully, now that I know this vinegar is going to work with the nausea, hopefully if I take it to... Hopefully if I take it like I'm planning to, then I won't be having to have a long nap of craziness with the dogs in the afternoon and won't make me sleepy. And I'll have more to vlog about. But anyways, I'm gonna go put Neosporin and a Band-Aid on this crap because this is bleeding down my leg again. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay, bye.